everybody uh, welcome to my channel um, this is the look that I have done for you today um, I used um, a few new products um, and I did use a few new things that I got from my ipsy glam bag and stuff like that so um, if you want to see how I did this look and if you want to see the products that I use then please keep watching and I will list everything in the comment section and the description box just comment section. I mean the description box, and I also will be um, putting uh, linking my Instagram to it. So if you want to head over to my Instagram and um, see um, updated pictures and keep up with me there as well. So um, yeah, keep watching. And if at the end you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and I will um, see you later. Bye. Hey everybody. Um and. Welcome to anybody that's new to my channel. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing the look that you just seen, as always, in my intro. Um, I'm going to be using um, Neat Matte from The Bomb. I'm just loving I've used it once. I haven't really played too much with it. I just did a really simple look a few days ago. It wasn't anything... Um, to um, dramatic, so I'm gonna. I want to really play good with it today with you guys. Also, um, I'm gonna be using some more of these. I'm trying to use these as much as I can because once you open them, you know it's. They do have a shelf life. Mascara does have a shelf life. Shelf life. I'm pretty sure it's 90 days, 60. I don't even know, but I really want to use all these up. Um, but I do have. The perversion, um, because I do have two of the um, better than sex ones, the mascaras, but I'm really, really, really loving the the um, Urban Decay perversion. I'm I really like it. Like I love the brush. Everything about it is amazing. So, um, all of these mascaras are freaking amazing. I just I love them all. Um, like this milk makeup is just amazing. So I'm not too sure yet. Well, I guess we'll kind of figure that out when we get there. And then next time I go in, I get a free mascara of one of these, um, mascaras. So it's either Marc Jacobs, Milk, Too Faced, Tarte, or Ciate. So I'm still not quite sure which one I am going to pick. So... Alright, I'm not going to take a whole lot of time today blabbing, 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 blabbing like I always do. Let's get started. So I'm just doing a quick uh, moisturizer. I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm in, uh, I don't know, I've been noticing that, like, you know, I moisturize every day, or every day, obviously, but like, before I do makeup and I find that, um, that, I don't know, putting too much moisturizer on before not the good applying. Also, I've been putting bio oil, um, but this is the Equate, this is the Walmart brand of bio oil, it's still good, it still smells the same, everything like that, but it's cheaper, so, um, if it's cheaper, then I'm all over that, like, why not rice, so, this is really good, I've been using that on my face too lately, um, along with the argan oil, so, it's kind of a duo, I've been noticing that I'm really starting to figure out like my skin tone, no, not my skin tone, my skin, the way it acts, it, oh, I swear my skin has by like serious like, um, what's the word, what can I call it, I don't know, it is just messed up, it doesn't know what the hell it's doing half the time, or it wants to be oily, dry, or whatever, but what I've been noticing is that my nose, like the rest of my face will be really nice and soft, almost like an oily, which, is normal like for summer for me but then I notice like when I'm doing foundation and then I look up really close because like when I'm back here when I'm doing my my makeup because I don't have my glasses on totally looks fine but when I go close I'm like holy shit like it's like all like dry flaky weird around my nose and then up here too and like here so up this way is dry and then over here, it's like oily. It's not dry or anything. So I've been kind of putting um, oil on my nose, like on my tea. 
and then um, moisturizing just around on my cheeks and stuff so um, I'm gonna see how that works today I don't know but I'm gonna use up the rest of my um, samples today for the Marc Jacobs and the Estee Lauder um, I'm really loving um, Estee Lauder is good it's for me it's more of a, like a medium coverage you kind of have to use a little bit more to cover like to get good coverage and then I find like with Marc Jacobs it's so good it's like I love it. So I'm thinking I'm going to kind of lean more towards Marc Jacobs and maybe go and get some of that. Even though it's expensive, I know, but I know it will last a while. Also in the mail, I got my Urban Decay Naked Skin. So I have my Naked Skin Foundation and I got my little concealer. So I finally got a little bit. I want to do, I want to do, I want to do, I want to do. It's not totally not what I was trying to say. I want to get a full size. Alright, that's good. Fine. So I moisturize, oil, all that stuff. I went ahead and I just dusted um, Matt, Matt, Matt Malloy, the white, all over my um, lids and stuff. So, um, let's see. Let's get Where's my little whale brush? It's not there, but... Oh, there you are. I see you hiding. Okay. So let's go in with um, this. Going with Matt Singh, I guess. Like a peachy, I think. I don't even know. Weird. Not weird. It's a really pretty color. really nice it's really nice and light well I'm going really light-handed too so you know how I like to do I like to kind of start off really light and then kind of work build my look up I don't like to um, really get crazy right away sometimes I do sometimes I just go in with like dark shadows right away let's take this, uh, this brush and let's go in with um, Let's go in with this one. This is a nice color. It's a matte hung. It's a nice brown in the bottom corner. Let's just kind of keep it right there. I don't want to take it too far in. So today it's June 21st in Canada and it is Aboriginal Day to celebrate First Nations. There's a lot of festivities going on in Regina today and that's where I live also for anybody that did not know. It's a little bit dark using that car because it is such a nice color. So I got some new headbands to or the other day too. As you can see, I'm wearing one. Kind of goes with my my earrings and my dress. I 
of my dress. I got it from, remember that for anybody that watches my, I mentioned that I go, there's a really nice little thrift store not too far. I think that's what I got it from. It's really nice, like I can't even believe some of the clothes that are in there, like really. I'll have to take you guys out to, I'll have to do a, a scoop in that store one day. Oh, that did not feel good. I actually put my... Matte wood just over top of the brown. Um, like So I used this as an overall base, the white, and then I put on some of this color, this matte, and then I put on a little bit of that, and then just over top I dusted this color. Um, and so now, I'm just going to close up for a minute. And I'm just taking a very small brush, and then I got this in my Ipsy yesterday, Urban Decay, and it's in the Shadow Lounge. And this is an iconic shade. Is it green or is it red? No, you're not under the influence. This trippy dual tone shade actually changes color before your eyes. Yeah, I knew that was kind of, it's like a, a bit of a psychedelic I guess or whatever but um see it's like that weird color but it's pretty nice and I'm just taking that with this brush I'm kind of just dusting that right in the crease and I'm kind of like making a V okay so I just kind of just kind of blended this color I think it looks really really nice um this kind of psychedelic color, you know how it kind of changes like from one color when you move it around. I think that's the name of it, like, or what you call those kind of color. You know those vehicles that you can get, those, um, and they like change color when you look at it as you move. That's what this, um, that's what this kind of stuff is. So. That's good. I'm going to put it back in the case. Um, I really like this color. I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't buy it though. Um, it's not, I'm not saying that it's just a like really totally hideous color. It's just not something that I would spend my money on. I spent, I got it in a subscription box. So that's cool. You know, when, it's, when I, it's finished finished I'm not like I said I'm not gonna buy it so all right let's grab another color here I'm gonna grab this this is like just a Walmart still spot essentials brush it's an eyeshadow blender it's really nice fluffy um what you call um brush actually you know what no I'm going to put put my brushes right here for now I got some more of these little hard candy brushes or I mean um, shadows oh my god I love these shadows they're so pretty that's funny if I can open it <laughs> I don't know if I can open it all right here we go so I'm just gonna take a little just just not very much at all I just kind of want to put some just above. The spackles. This is really nice, like glitter. I'm not putting too much on, just to maybe just to put a little bit of glitter. That's all. Same color. I 
same brush, I mean. I want to smoke it out just a little bit more. Sorry, you hear that little dog outside. I have my window open. My, this is my powder brush. This is my Morphe. Oh my god, my Morphe brushes are finally coming. My payment went through. It took a few days. It's, it's weird. Usually it goes through right away, but then this time it's in processing for like an extra couple of days. I don't know. So this is my concealer brush. This is my highlight brush. My um, blush brush. No. Contour brush. Blush brush. <laughs> so, there you know. Okay, so I'm just going to put on some, I don't know which primer I'm going to use. Oh, yeah, I do. What am I talking about? i got a whole bunch. I'm really loving um, this one, the MAC Prep and Prime Moisture Infusion Primer. Really, really good. I like it. It feels like really, really good on the skin, so shimmer that. Since I never put any on before I started, just leave that one open. I never usually put um, like anything on with my fingers. I gotta try to use a brush um, to apply my stuff. Yeah, this moil this primer is just the bomb diggity to me. It's the bee's knees. It's the bee's knees. Mac is like Mac is good regardless. So okay, so um, I just put just put just kind of rubbed it around. I put some lashes on. I just put little thin ones on. Um, these are oh what the heck did I throw that in? I think I threw the package away. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, right here. These are our Dell lashes, and um, they were in uh, Sweeties. Our Dell. They're not like the highest brand, but. Um, if you're on my Instagram, then you know that I'm practicing with lashes. I'm not really a lashes person. See, like you can tell, like I'm wearing them, but there's a new, they're a new thing. It just feels weird. Like when you first wearing, start wearing lashes, ladies, does it feel like they're going to flop off? Is that how they're supposed to feel? <laughs> I just feel like they're gonna come off. Okay, so. This is a medium beige. Does it look a little. That's what shade I am, actually. Yeah. Take a beauty blender and dab, 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 dab. Just doing a little bit of liner glitter just a touch not very much at all I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go and make my wing with black I just wanna I just wanna add a little bit of sparkle My 
brows. Oh, I need to. No, I'll do that after two, actually, while I shine. So I'm just going to put, use my next. You know what's funny, too? I cannot jive with that. That um, pomade, I just can't. But I did order the Anastasia pencil, not the skinny one, um, the definer. I ordered that. The brow definer. I am more of um, a pencil eyebrow pencil kind of gale. Some women like the gel, like the, you know, like the, the pomade and stuff. Not for me. But I can use it for like, maybe I'll find a different use for it, like a liner, you know. I'm definitely not going to be throwing that away. Okay, so I'm almost done kind of taking me a better part of my afternoon doing my look because I've had to stop and do other things and stuff so I'm almost done now lashes are going on um Alright, so what I'm using is the Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, like I said before, I do need to use this up. Well, this one anyways. I have another one. That I haven't opened yet. And then I have the Perversion from Urban Decay. I like this, like, using these together. It's really good. Really, um which the lash is really really good so yeah let me just finish this up and I shall be right back to contour highlight yeah all right so this is my look to that yeah the look that I did what do you guys think? <laughs> it's full of like some glitter and some different things and I really really love it. So if you love this look and you um, don't want to miss anything that I post or anything like that then please hit the subscribe um, and if you want to head over to my Instagram, then you will see um, pictures of this look and whatnot. It's um, under it's love underscore laugh underscore lip gloss. Um, so yeah, you will um, uh, not miss a thing if you hit the um, turn on my notifications. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed my video, and I hope you enjoyed all my look, and I hope you enjoy all my other looks and stuff like that. So I hope that you all have a great day, and I will see you either on Instagram, in the comment section, or on my next video.